Welcome to Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, it's Joby and Matt and the cat and we came outside, my dad's inside sleep and we'll go in and check on him in a minute. <laughs> this week um, I was drinking my 12 pack of the wine that I reviewed last week so I don't have anything new there. But just for shits and giggles I went and got a peach loco and it's alright. Um, it's not as good as the other ones, it's a little sweet. But it's peachy. <laughs> Try it. Try them all. What the hell? I uh, got a lot of movies to talk about this week. Um, I did watch one movie called Baby Driver, and boy did I love that movie. That kid, he had a ringing in his ears, so he had to listen to music all the time. And he was a getaway driver for uh, people who were robbing banks and stuff. And it had John Hamm in it. He makes me want a ham sandwich. But anyway, he's listening to the music, and all the driving that he's doing is orchestrated to the music. It was really, really, really good. And I'm not one of those getaway car driver kind of people, but the music was so good, and it made me really enjoy it. I liked all the characters and everything in it, but the music was a... a, a if I had four thumbs, I'd put them up. That's some Oscar shit right there. Um, some of the ones that I'm waiting to see is the new Jumanji. It's going to have The Rock and uh, Kevin Hart in it. I'm not sure of the other people, but they all looked really funny. But all that matters is The Rock is going to be in that. So you know we're going to watch that two or three times. Don't let this new body get your butt whooped. Ow! Ow! What the hell? Uh, Matt and I watched Stranger Things tonight. That gets better and better as it goes on. I, oh, I just... I'm just so drawn into it every time. It's it's so nostalgic. There's no cell phones. There's no computers in it. It just seems weird to watch it, you know? It's like back in the day junk. Um, I didn't get to see American Horror Story last week, but this week Matt brought me the last one. I'm anxious to see it, and uh, we'll just review the whole thing in the end after I see it. Um, I watched a couple of other ones. Uh, there was one called Guilty about, uh, and this was like a true story kind of thing, where the teacher was accused of uh, touching this girl, and she was such a little bitch that she and her boyfriend conspired to kill the guy because he was giving her bad grades and she wanted a new car. Yeah, it was something else. To believe that somebody could be so selfish and, and, and kill that guy, he was a really good teacher and all. Anyway, that's one to watch if you want to watch something really suspenseful. Um, Girl Trip, holy crap. That the Everybody in Girl Trip was good, but that one girl with the curly hair and the big foul mouth was the funniest thing ever. She, oh my God, that was funny. Grapefruit scene. I know everybody's heard that grapefruit scene, but she just goes over the top. Um, Chance the Rapper and Eminem are going to be on SNL this week. I'm very excited about that. I like that little young man, Chance the Rapper, and I, I haven't seen Eminem in a long time. Uh, Pitch Perfect 3. Pitch Perfect 3. Oh, my God. Who is not singing the cheers for that? Pitch Perfect 3. I love that singing. Um, oh, Murder on the Orient Express is going to be good. Michelle Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer's making a real comeback. I'm really enjoying it. They uh, had an interview with her the other day, and she said, I always take a little hiatus in, my, in between my movies. No, this has been a long time. We haven't seen you, girlfriend, and we're glad you're back. You're rocking it. All right, and the last, oh, oh, the movie we watched tonight, holy cow, Thor, the new Thor, Everybody should see this. Everybody should see this. The humor in it was so funny. I love the, I don't know, just sarcastic humor that was in it. I, you're going to like it a bunch. And now, I give you your incredible... We know each other. He's a friend from work. Oh, come on. I know I told you who did it last week, the guys that did the uh, vampire movie, and they're going to do the werewolf movie. Um, and the last movie that I got for you is It Stains the Sands Red. 
oh my God, you guys, I went into this with like, I really didn't think I was gonna like it. I, I, I had low expectations for it. And as it went on, oh, I laughed and I laughed and I laughed. Uh, the zombie is relentlessly chasing this girl through the desert. And all she has to do is stay far enough ahead of him that he doesn't eat her. And they go on and on and on, but it, she insults him. She's just walking along, calling him names and throwing stuff at him, and, but he's just relentlessly following her through the desert. It is really funny. In the end, you will not sit back and be sad that you watched it. <laughs> I know the cover makes you think that you might. All right, well, let's go in here and say goodnight to my dad and see if we can find the cat. over here with my dad. Dad's sleeping. He watched Thor with us and I think he enjoyed it as much as we did. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Whatever you got left of it. Thanks for coming by and seeing me and Matt and the cat. Watch some movies. Have some locos. Bye, everybody. <laughs> turned up in the kitchen waiting for the T word. Treats. It's not treat time yet. <laughs> Thank you for watching Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine.